Nice touch by Dickens. Goddard. And a good effort, too, by Goddard, who's really found some form just of late. He played extremely well against Wimbledon and has come back to form after a poor patch earlier in the season. He got a hat-trick, in fact, in the third round against Port Vale, and he wasn't far away there. Good turn again by Goddard. Dickens had a hand in that. Here's Pike, and Dickens again through the centre. And West Ham found a path clean through the middle of the Manchester United defence, and it was typical West Ham football, that. Goddard to Dickens, back to Pike, through to Dickens, the midfield player in the centre-forward position, but his shot was wide. Here's Dickens following up again. Half away by McGrath. The drive was brilliant by Orr. Well, Neil Orr thundered a shot against the crossbar at Wimbledon on Monday night that many of us felt might have come down over the line, and he wasn't too far away from giving West Ham the lead there. Their season depends on this West Ham, and they're certainly playing like it early on. And Cotty's coming in, and Bailey had to make a save. Defence sleeping a bit. Driven low across the box, and Tony Cotty so sharp. Gary Bailey equally so. So a lively opening 20 minutes here. McGrath. Hughes is there. Good turn by Hughes. Splendid goal. Mark Hughes scores his 17th goal of this highly successful season for him. And he shows why he's now number one among the Manchester United strikers. A lovely turn and a sweet finish in a congested penalty area. Marks him out as the young player to watch which indeed he's been this season. Goddard, that was beautifully brought down. Paul Allen out on the right, four waiting in the centre here. Allen got it across, Hogg! Own goal by Hogg! Graham Hogg got the touch inadvertently. West Ham deservedly draw level, they've had enough of the game to warrant that. Beautifully brought down by Goddard in the first place. Released Allen on the right. He took on Olberston. A good crisp cross, but it ricocheted off Graham Hogg. And the hammers are level. Strapping with the corner. Stewart again. Stapleton's in there with Martin. McGrath's header and turned on and in by Norman Whiteside. touch there that showed pure instinct. Gordon Strachan, who actually seemed to be hit by something before he took that corner, curled the ball in. Stapleton made a nuisance of himself. McGrath got the header goalwards, but Whiteside was the player whose touch put Manchester United back into the lead. The near post, but Stapleton was defending well. Jesper Olsen turns it inside to Strachan. Now Whiteside charging through the centre. Olsen down the right. And here's Whiteside, great save, Strachan. Brilliant, Hughes, wanted it too long. And still the ball isn't clear. Duxbury playing the one-two with Hughes. What an extraordinary sequence in the West Ham penalty area. Alvin Martin was valiant there, but looking back on it, what a good save in the first place by Tom McAllister from Norman Whiteside. Hughes on the chest, what a good piece of work. Oh, brilliant! Yes, for Olsen. Can he finish it? He's right through, and he allowed Walker to get back. And it was a fair challenge. And the ball from Hughes was absolutely marvellous. It should have made it 3-1 to Manchester United because Olsen has been struggling with an injury. And I honestly think if he'd had full pace there, he would have gone on and scored. But he wasn't quick enough in the circumstances to get away. And Steve Walford valiantly caught up with him. Right 
Side coming in, he's got a chance here. Yes! Norman Whiteside gets his second and Manchester United's third in the 74th minute. And the Stratford end acknowledge that barring a complete collapse, Manchester United should be into the semi-final of the FA Cup. Graham Hogg took the free kick and Whiteside got away from his marker and he finished well. Whiteside certainly did. Goddard. And still West Ham won't give it up. Paul Allen in well here. What a good finish and well deserved. Six minutes to go and little Paul Allen gives West Ham renewed hope. A smart move. Goddard got away. He cut Allen in on the inside of his man and the drive past Gary Bailey brings it back to 3-2 and remains Strachan. Gordon Strachan goes for goal, gets brought down, penalty! Would you believe it? Manchester United have yet another penalty kick and Norman Whiteside surely will step forward to try and complete the hat-trick. Strachan doesn't want to know anymore. They change the kicker and Whiteside, not because he's on a hat-trick, but because the players agreed he should take them, has gone to get the ball. Strachan brought down as he went straight through everybody, or tried to. Oh, absolutely no mistake. Two minutes from the end, they found a new penalty taker, but they found the place, more importantly, in the FA Cup semi-final. Manchester United 4, West Ham 2, Tom McAllister dejected, Norman Whiteside delighted. Old Trafford is absolutely seething with excitement. They know they've seen a really tremendous match. Stratford End is in a state of sheer celebration there. Well, that must be one of the best cup ties that we've seen at Old Trafford down the years. Sparkling entertainment and Norman Whiteside, who makes his name whenever the occasion is enormous, has certainly responded again. A hat-trick for him. Mark Hughes was brilliant. Manchester United played with a swashbuckling style which West Ham did their best to match and contributed hugely to the game. But in the end, the hammers go out and the Stretford End celebrate Manchester United's 17th appearance in the FA Cup semi-final.